Hey Windows fans, I'm Mark for Windows Central. In this video, we are playing with masks. If you like posting photos on Instagram, you are going to like this application. So masks let you add filters to just the specific areas of your image. Let me show you how that works. So when you first open up the application, you have two options. You can use the, the built-in camera, which I'm not going to use because I'm perfectly fine with my Lumia camera, or you can import it from your camera roll. So I'm gonna go to my camera roll and select an image. Uh, let's go ahead with this one. And once you open up or select an image, you can only crop it into a square aspect ratio. Uh, that is fine for me since these photos are going to Instagram anyway. There are no other options for other aspect ratios. So here's a sample image that I've selected. Now the next step is to select a mask. There are 30 options available, but you can buy 40 more for 99 cents. So here let's select a triangle mask and by default a blur filter will be applied. Let's select something else, Esquire. So take a look at the triangle. Uh, the Esquire filter is applied outside of the triangle while inside is left untouched. You can move the triangle or the other masks around and take a look, see the, the color changes. You could also pinch to zoom in or out. So this is a cool way to play with your images. So if you want to change the shape of the mask, just tap this section over here. Uh, you can't press the back button because if you press the back button, that's gonna bring you back to the home screen. So let's select the plus mask over here. That changes, you could also pinch, change it around. Let me move it to that way, maybe pinch it a little bit. Okay, I think I'm happy with that mask. Then I go back to the filters. Let me select portrait, that looks different. Haze, Adele. So from here, you can now invert by pressing the upper left corner. That changes the inside to the outside filter. And if you move things around, you can also uh, tap the center button that will center it horizontally or center it vertically. And if you want to play with the mirror effects, this is interesting, tap this. And that's going to uh, mirror the image upside down or mirror the image that way. It's, it's definitely play around with the buttons on top. It creates uh, interesting images for you. So here's a different image with a different mask. Uh, let's go ahead and select Haze Don Juan. So for this mask, it's uh, from the top right corner to the bottom left corner. Uh, let's like vibe. Oh. Okay, I like this one. And if you don't like the filter, you could also change the strength of it. Take a look at the slider at the bottom. So 100, I'm sliding it to 50, to 15. It's more noticeable if you do the one of the black and white stuff. So Esquire, uh, let me zoom that that way. And I'm gonna slide the strength to about 70. That looks cool. All right, so once you're happy with your image, just tap the share button on the bottom right corner. And now you have three options. You can share it to Photo Room, which is made by the same developers of this application, save it to phone or the universal share. That's your built-in Windows phone sharing option. So you can send that photo to SixTag, Instagram, uh, Twitter, OneDrive, Facebook. Uh, I like Instagram, so I'm just gonna share it to uh, SixTag. And uh, there you go, that image will be available for you to upload to Instagram. All right, so that's a quick look at masks for Windows Phone. It's a free download from the Windows Phone store, so definitely check it out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'm Mark Gwim for Windows Central. Thanks for watching.